Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and this video is going to be about bioinformatics and this is going to be my seventh video in which I am explaining how to uh, understand and interpret different uh, patterns that you may see when you do a dot plot of two sequences and this is what you may see uh, different uh, small fragments may look like uh, anything on these pictures and I already explained what we see on the picture A, B, E, F, G, H, and D, and uh, picture D representation of uh, inversion, and in this case this is uh, duplication and uh, inversion, and uh, today I am proceeding to talk about inversions because this is the biggest group of different patterns that we may see when we do a dot plot. And in this video I'm going to talk about how to recognize off-diagonal inversion. And this video is going to be a little bit unusual because today uh, I'm going to test your knowledge. By now you should be able to interpret the picture that I'm going to draw now. Imagine that we have a coincidence of uh, the same letters and these boxes. And also here. So dot means that uh, on the both strands, one strand here, another strand here, because our diagonal line go in this direction. That means that today we are going to plot uh, y axis here and x axis here. So uh, next, uh, imagine that we have next fragment here. So this is classical uh, example of uh, of diagonal uh, inversion. This is uh, the topic of our today's video. But would you be able to explain uh, what's going on here and explain all the fragments and uh, all the gaps here? By now you should be able to do it. And if you need the time, you may stop video here. Try to draw. Uh, all the directions of the uh, fragments and uh, try to explain the gaps here on this picture and uh, for those of you who is still confused and who started to watch my videos in not the order that I present them here is my explanation so we have two strands as I said one strand goes in this direction and another goes in this direction so this explains this diagonal line and if we would have perfect match of two strands so if we plot the same strand on both uh, axes we would get a perfect match and we would get a perfect line here so uh, today we are talking about off diagonal inversion and this is clearly uh, inversion here so let's do each fragment one by one so here we have perfect match of two lines so direction would be in this order and here we would have for example A, B and C and that means that on the other strand we also would, would have A, B and C residues for example this can be uh, polypeptide chain and also we can say that here we also have perfect match so both, uh, on both strands we have uh, direction of polypeptide in the same direction as uh, fragment, uh, first fragment in red. So this can be for example G, H and I. And also we would have G, H and I here. That explains why we have perfect match here and diagonal line but how we got this inversion and this is very easy so here we also have direction here and uh, residues can be as follows D E and F and in order for our dots to be aligned in this direction here we should have inversion so this fragment on the other 
strength would go in this direction. So as you see, here all the fragments go in the same direction, but here we have green fragments that goes in reverse direction. So order would be also reversed. So here we would have D, E, and F. And as you see, we have D here and D here. So that's why we plot this dot here. We have E here and also E here. That's why we plot this dot. And F here, that corresponds to this F here. And that's why we plot this dot here. So that's why we got this line in, in the perpendicular order to the rest. So... Um, to the rest uh, fragments. So now we have to explain just uh, two small gaps. The first gap is here and the second gap is here. And this corresponds to this residues on this trend and this residues on this trend. So because we have a gap here that means we don't have coincidence of the same letters here. So we can put any letters here except D and E, but because we don't have any dots on our matrix, that means we shouldn't put, for example, A here, because otherwise we would have a dot here because we have A here. We shouldn't put B here and C, otherwise we would have dots here. So we can put any letters here except what we have on this strand here. For example, this can be letters um, X and Y. So we don't have such letters uh, on this strand. And this would explain why we don't have a dot here, because we have X here and E here. We have Y here and D here. So we are going to get a gap here. And now let's explain this gap here. So we have D and E, but uh, what letters should be put here? Obviously that this shouldn't be letters D and E, and this shouldn't be any of these letters, or otherwise we will get a dot somewhere on our matrix. And let's put direction for this fragment. And uh, as for this fragment, this can be letters, for example, um, W and O. We don't have neither of these letters on this trend. So here we don't have corresponding D, we don't have corresponding E here. That means we are going to get a gap here. So these letters are used uh, just in, this can be any letters. This is just was my choice. Uh, you may choose different letters, but the main uh, idea, we shouldn't find these letters on this trend and these letters on this trend. And fragment direction can be in this direction. So as you see, on the one axis, we have all the fragments that go in the same direction. And the other axis, we also have all the fragments that go in uh, the same direction, but, but one fragment would be inversed. That's why we are getting these uh, three dots that go in different alignment, uh, in different diagonal. And uh, hope that most of you were able to solve this problem. And those of you who didn't, now I hope you would be able better understand what is the off-diagonal inversion. And whenever you would see a picture like this, you would know what this means. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.